Hello, my name is Christian Jürgensen. I'm a gastroenterologist and head of the endoscopy unit CCM at Charity University in Berlin, Germany. On behalf of my co-authors, I would like to thank GI Endoscopy for giving us the opportunity to discuss our recently accepted paper, EUS Guided Drainage in the Management of Postoperative Pancreatic Leaks and Fistulas with Video. Postoperative fistulas often manifest either as ongoing lipase activity in postoperative drainages or as fluid collections with or without superinfection. They are the main cause of morbidity and mortality after pancreatic surgery. There are several therapeutic options. After realizing that transmural drainage via EUS in particular seemed to be associated with a favorable clinical cause, we decided to conduct a retrospective analysis of postoperative fistula treatment by EUS and to compare these patients with those of other treatment modalities. We included 196 patients of three uh, university pancreatic surgery units. 78 of them were treated via EUS guided drainage. After analyzing their clinical problem at the moment of intervention, we found two scenarios. On one hand, patient with fluid collections often superinfected requiring drainage as soon as possible to avoid spreading and the resulting local and systemic complications. On the other hand, there were relatively stable patients with an ongoing secretion of pancreatic enzymes via a drainage in situ. This ongoing secretion prevents the removal of the drainage and discharge of patients to home care. These two groups differed with significantly higher CRP levels in the group with fluid collection. The results of our study were in favor of EUS. Endoscopic ultrasound guided drainage as first line therapy in fluid collections and in fistulas showed higher success rates compared to other approaches. Additionally, EUS was successful in all but one patient if used as secondary treatment for fluid collections following failure of external drainage or surgery. Finally, Following EUS treatment of postoperative fistulas and fluid collections, patient could be discharged earlier compared to other treatment modalities. Before this interview, I asked my corresponding surgeons who provided data for the study and refer the patient for EUS treatment. Why do you prefer the EUS treatment approach for postoperative fistulas? They all gave the same answer. EUS drainage is safe and leads to rapid clinical improvement. As a result, we are able to discharge our patients within days. Therefore, EUS drainage has become an essential part of our management of post-operative complications. However, one limitation has to be kept in mind. Our study is of retrospective design. Different CRP levels of the different approaches at the time of initial treatment indicate a possible selection bias, which would need to be overcome by a prospective study. Thank you for your time and we hope you enjoy reading our paper.